interrupted and just said 35 minutes. <laughs> of course. We're living on a disc floating through space with a tiny sun. Hey MFTFE, welcome back to the channel that takes stupidity for a nice long drive into the countryside and uh, leaves it there and it dies. Yes. Anyway, so I'm getting sued apparently by um, FE Corps. Uh, they sent me an email. Um, well, they, they got a, a law firm um, called... Let me get the email up. I guess uh, their donations are running low. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so uh, I got an email from... Uh, Brian O'Donnell, a trainee solicitor from Jones White Law, and the email read like this. Uh, if I can fucking open it now. All right, dear sir, our client, FE Corp Incorporated. Um, first of all, uh, uh, they they've also sent it to a physical address, but the physical address they have for me it is is completely wrong. Uh, let me just show you guys what they have. I, I don't know, Craig, if this is just on my end, but I'm getting massive uh, stuttering in the uh, stream. Oh. Um, oh, it does say that the thing is low. Um, I hear you fine. Yeah, everyone can hear fine. It probably it'll sort itself out. All right, let me just get this email up on screen for you guys. Okay, I'll assume it's on my side. Well, it does say that um, YouTube's not receiving um, a high enough signal, but... Right, there we go. Um, uh, Lucas, uh, the lawyer is not a trainer, he is, or a trainee, he's a trainee solicitor. Yeah. All right, so let me get the desktop up, there we go. Um, so pretty much he's an associate, not a partner. Not anything, yeah. actually, not even an associate. He'd be part of the bullpen. Yeah, so this is the email I got. Um, 173 Sir George Bruce Road, Oakley, Dunfermline, and Fife. I mean, they're, they're right. I live in Fife in Scotland, but the rest of it is completely wrong. Um, but they also sent it to me by email. Uh, I'm actually go to that address and see if they've had a letter delivered to them. The Dear Sir, our client, FE Core Incorporated, your defamatory internet content. We refer to the above and confirm you have been instructed by the above named client. We understand you operate a YouTube channel with the username FTFE. Yes, I fucking do. We have been instructed with regards to various videos that you produced and posted on YouTube, which make reference to our client. Um, it is our understanding that the videos you posted on YouTube contain malicious and untrue allegations about our client. These statements are <laughs> factually wrong and based on misinformation. These videos are currently being shared on YouTube and have generated tens of thousands of views. These videos constitute defamation. The content of these videos poses a serious threat to the reputation of our client and its staff. Your videos... Hold on, pause, pause, pause. Don't they have to have a <laughs> reputation to begin with? Yeah, I, I know. It, it gets better than that. Some, somebody already asked me on Twitter yesterday on how it's actually possible to uh, slander someone um, like FE Core, and my response was, yeah, just quote them. Yeah, that that's was, the best way to do it. I can still see all the people that I was um, like uh, following and stuff on Twitter, but I can't like interact or post anything, and it says zero followers. Um, I guess that'll disappear soon. But anyway, your videos appear designed to damage the reputation of our client and its members. I mean, that's kind of true. <laughs> yeah, but, you know, again, how can you damage the reputation of a flat earther? Your videos yeah, have the effect yeah. of lowering our client in the estimation of right-thinking members of society generally. <laughs> yeah, no, that's also not true. <laughs> because and because by that, it would have to be them? false. If everything they are saying themselves lowers them in the, quote, in the estimation of right-thinking members of society. That's not your. That's not the thing you are doing. You're just showing what they are doing. Yeah. 
so interestingly enough, they want to do an appeal to popularity, an appeal to the populace. Are you sure that's the way you want to go there, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> so examples of the content that constitutes defamation includes, but is not limited to, your YouTube videos titled Mike Kavanagh and F.E. Core are frauds, Post on 5th September and flat earth discussion and talk with FE Core about FE Core with FE, FTFE, Team Skeptic and Steve McRae talk with Derek Nelson, streamed live on 13th of September 2019. Those are the only two times that I have ever spoken about FE Core, so I don't know what they're on about, but is not limited to. Maybe they just have struggles counting in general. Please note. How come I didn't get a letter? I did, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get to all that, don't worry. Please note that the above is not an exhaustive list of defamatory content, but examples of easily accessible defamatory material. Again, kind of insinuating I have more than those two videos talking about FE Core, which I do not. Yeah, I was about to say, if they were serious about there being more material, they would list that material. <laughs> um, for people just joining again in the chat, I'm, I'm not doxing myself. This was the email that I got, but they've also sent it to that physical address, which isn't mine. Yes, I do live in Fife in Scotland, but the rest of it is completely wrong. Um, please note that uh, oh, under Scots law, a defamatory statement is one which tends to lower the pursuer, generally in the estimation of right thinking members of society generally. Now, my issue with that is there is no right thinking members of society that had any kind of, you know, reputation about you in their eyes. Anyone right thinking knows that you're all a bunch of fucking morons. Thing. So, yeah, <laughs> um, and then they they um, they quote this uh, case study, Sim versus Stretch, nineteen thirty six. Now I read that um, case. It's kind of hard to read from nineteen thirties, but basically it was about um, a woman who was a maid for a one guy, and then left and went to work for another guy, but then told that guy that she was still owed some wages. Um, so her new employer wrote to her previous employer saying that I, I demand you forward all money wages not owed. Um, and then he managed to get that guy sued because that letter implied that he didn't have any money, thus lowering his reputation in the eyes of right-thinking members of society. But I do not see how that applies to me in any way. Anyone? Yeah, without knowing the case, I won't comment on that. <laughs> yeah, I still stick with the the guesstimate and read that a number of us have made in the background of why they picked you and no. particularly why they picked a UK law firm to go not against just, not just the UK a Scots or a Scottish law firm which is again different from much of the UK but we'll get to why they have done me after I've gone through the letter um, I got a question why would they reference a case from 19 wherever um, yeah. I mean, that was kind of defamation or heard or something like that in Scotland? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me. Honestly, I've, I've read through that case and it just makes absolutely <laughs> no fucking sense. The videos you have posted are defamatory. Identify and refer to our client and are published by yourself to third parties. Uh, yeah. What, what were you going to say, Jared? Oh, well, I just had a thought come to my mind that maybe this uh, intern, maybe this uh, junior solicitor still in training is also being trained by FE Core, so conflict of interest. <laughs> uh, I, I, no, Jared, Jared, stop. stop. Just them. stop it. Stop. Wait. No, 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 no. Stop. I would assume for the future, starting now, that the lawyer is completely legit. It's not his... I don't think I, I don't see any reason to think that he's involved with FE Core whatsoever. No, because no. it's just his job to take to take the the suits that the people they they, they just use him as a lawyer. Going for him personally make, no, is, makes no makes no sense whatsoever. Let's just assume that he's real and he's legit. He is, he is he is he is serving the complaint as stated by the client. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> yes. It's not a personal thing. Let's he's, let's he's not, not lawyer out of this. Uh, okay, being uh, around being around lawyers as much as I have been of all uh, experience types, a lawyer is well within their bounds and actually by their oath of ethics to see something that is bullshit and say 
sorry, we can't help you. Yes, but Jared, uh, if you look at the track record of FE Core and how they solicit companies for donations and equipment, they don't tell them that they're flat earthers. They don't tell them what is actually being uh, uh, tested or tried or whatever the case may be. They say, hey, we want to make a world record and we want to use your equipment. Okay, which is why they caught so much snot about uh, one of the companies that they were dealing with. And uh, what do you call it? So it's very easy for them to actually walk in and say, hey, look, legitimate company and these people are picking on us. Wait, so you're saying that they have a history of being dishonest in their business practices? <laughs> I know, right? Who would have thought? Would, would I ever say a thing like that? <laughs> yeah. Uh, right. Ryan, so considering the above, we ask that you remove all content which makes reference to our client in its entirety. For the avoidance of doubt, our client is FE Core Incorporated and includes members of their board and all other stuff. Hi, Bob. Stop. Stop. Um, there's something we need to, to, to talk about before in the, um, in the sentence before. They are saying that you have posted defamatory things. It's only defamatory if it's not true. Yeah, these are all points I'm going to get to. Um, th that was pointed out by my wife when she saw this and, and laughed quite a lot. We ask that by 9 a.m. Monday, the 9th of December 2019, the, the same day I will be debating Jerry Rocha on Simon Dan's channel, permanently remove all content posted by you relating to our client in order to prevent future harm. This includes content on YouTube or other social media websites and the content must be removed in its entirety. Provide details of all content which has been removed together with website addresses and undertake to not publish any further comments about our client defamatory or otherwise. Whoops. Um, here, here's the Wait, thing. Stop. Uh, yeah, I've got one thing to say about that, what they're trying to say there. And in Scotland, there's only one person that can issue a gag order to say you're not allowed to talk about things, and that is a judge. This is a trainee solicitor. He can suck my no, dick. No, 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 stop. Those are two different things. A judge can order you not to talk anymore. If you say that you're fine with their conditions, you're entering a civil um, well, contract, basically. At least that's what, how it would work here. And if you were to breach that contract, they could then sue you afterwards for breach of contract. So if, if it works the same way as it does over here, I would just not do anything apart from getting a lawyer. Yeah, well, um, I'm definitely going to be getting a lawyer anyway because uh, I've been speaking back and forth with this trainee solicitor and they definitely uh, intend to pursue it. But again, a judge is the only person that can kind of tell me to not talk about things. Uh, if the defamation... Yeah, unless, unless you agree to their conditions. Yeah, which I Because then done. you enter a enter civil contract, which you should not do. Yeah. If the def uh, defamatory material is not permanently removed and the above information undertaken not provided by 9 a.m. Monday night of December, our client wishes to immediately commence formal litigation proceedings against you for removal of defamatory content. Furthermore, our client seeks compensation for the actions you have taken. Scott's law aims to restore parties to the position they would have been in, but for the damage they have suffered. Um, so what effect has my videos had on the reputation of FE Corp? Yeah, basically, they will have to they have prove either financial. They will have to prove financial loss, basically. That's what he's trying to say here. Yeah, uh, aren't they non-profit well, not, not only that, but also like member like the amount of members that they might have had if you weren't to point out that they are pieces of shit. Yeah, and you think their members are watching my videos. You know, come on. <laughs> well, to be fair, a number, a number of them may be, but here's the issue. Sorry, Sly, you cut out there, but... In order for them to show damages from your content, they will actually have to show at the very least, a correlation between posting of your videos and them having a reduction in donations and, mem and active memberships with direct reason being what they have learned from your videos. Yeah. They uh, can't do speculation <laughs> on that. They would actually no. have to show these this number of people left and cited this reason for it. Uh, and it says, your defamatory videos have been widely viewed and shared. Um, well, the funny thing is that that episode of Flirt Sight Idiots that I did on Mike Kavanaugh and FE Core is actually one of my lowest episodes uh, in view count of Flirt Sight Idiots. I think it's only got about 12,000 views. And then the live stream has got like 8,500 views. So uh, earlier on, they said tens of thousands of views. 
And I don't really think 18,000 views counts as widely viewed and shared, unless it's been doing the rounds in some kind of viral form I'm not aware of. Um, thus damaging our client's reputation. We therefore invite you to, we invite your reasonable offers of settlement. We are currently quantifying the damage suffered as a result of your defamatory material. For our purposes... Yeah, so let's shedding... see, so 0.1 yeah. <laughs> zero yeah. pounds, maybe. Yeah. Um... How, how much does the stamp cost for sending this letter <laughs> in the UK? Uh, first class is about 52p, I think. Um, we are currently quantifying the data. Oh, no, done that. Um, for your purposes, this shall include damages and legal expenses. This is entirely separate from our request to remove the defamatory material, and we expect this to happen in the time period stated above. You are hereby placed on notice that our client will seek indirect uh, in, in interdict against you in relation to future defamatory acts, and will further seek to recover substantial damages for the loss suffered as a result of your defamatory statements. Our client reserves the right to seek legal expenses against you for the cost of litigation proceedings. We trust that this is a co that this course of action will not be necessary. Nothing in this letter is that intended as legal advice on our part to you. If you're in any way in doubt as to your legal rights responsibilities, you take independent legal advice immediately. This letter is written without prejudice to our client's whole rights and please and neither it nor a copy of it may be produced in any proceedings to follow here on except with our client's express written consent or at our client's instance. This letter nor a copy of it may be used in any other setting. You're not permitted to reproduce or publish it online in every public forum. Any failure to adhere to the above will be responded to by way of media legal proceedings for interdict and damages. Yours faithfully, Jones White Law. Again, um... Just no, um, I, you can't tell me what to do. Free speech is a thing, go away. But yeah, um, so that's the letter that I got. Um, I then, next thing I did was contacted, I, I phoned the law company to see if they were legit and a receptionist answered and uh, after going through a menu and uh, then she got the guy to call me back after he'd finished lunch and I spoke to him and I was like, look, or do you even know what this is about? And the thing is, the guy didn't even know that F.E. Core had anything to do with Flat Earth. He clearly hadn't watched the videos or anything, which seems a bit weird to me, but... Yeah, not only that, because the, the words Flat Earth are in the titles of the two videos that they cite. Yeah, I know, right? So they must have known. <laughs> also, uh... they, they must have watched the videos to actually evaluate if their uh, lawsuit or this letter at least will have a chance of succeeding yeah um so and the here's the thing the the letter isn't about like me calling them idiots for being flat or anything there's a specific thing that they're going on about and that's where i say that they aren't actually got their tax exempt status um i, I say they're not registered as a, a fully tax exempt company they haven't been given that position yet um, and when I released that video, that was absolutely true. They, I know since then they have got it. And the lawyer wrote back to me and he said that, um, they, as they are able to claim tax exempt status and it backdates, therefore they still were right to say that they had tax exempt status Ball. back in that time. Ball. Bullshit. Ball. Bullshit. Ball. Ball. But, but um, what was the actual date that they got their tax exempt status? Do we know? Less uh, than a month ago. Should, it should be on the um, on the documents that you got. Slide. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I got it. Yeah. So I, I was I was perfectly right at the time of that video. You know, I was one hundred percent right in what I said that they didn't have their tax exempt status and their frauds because they were telling people. From 2017, it was written on their website that they had this tax exempt status. Uh, right, let me go. By back. the way, we yeah, should then... secure that website as soon as possible. Right, <laughs> so um, as discussed, this email followed up to our telephone conversation. Um, on, on or about the 11th of October. 11th of October, there you go. Well, my video was uh, released in. When did they start copyright striking usually? Yeah, so mid beginning of September, wasn't it? Was that when did I when did they start copyright striking you? Oh shit, that was in August. Well, it was just after that, that I did the video, so probably early September. Um, mm -hmm. And so I was right when I did the video that they didn't have their tax exempt status. So again, nothing I've said is defamatory because nothing is untrue. Uh, 
And yes, def defamation requires that the information is not only untrue, but to press it to be knowingly untrue. Yeah. Right, so uh, he and I back after a bit back and forth said, I've spoken with our clients and I have sight of the documents from Inland Revenue Service which show that they were exempt from federal income tax from 7th of December 2017. They're also qualified to receive tax deductible bequests, devices, transfers or gifts. They apply for this status at their formation. The IRS <coughs> state that well in the application process, organisations have the above exemptions and if the application is successful then everything which has went before is essentially ratified this is what has happened in this situation so isn't he just kind of backing up the fact that i was right with what i said that they didn't have it at the time yes like i i honestly don't understand how I mean, I know the guy's a trainee so this year, and I'm not... I'm not no, 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 that's, that's not the problem. The main problem is here on their website. They said that they had it, and then later they changed right. it back to saying that they were trying to get it. Yeah, Which and they even admitted that, that in November they, of 2018. They, yes, they, they basically admitted that they made a mistake, and it's not your fault for pointing that mistake out. No, because absolutely. that mistake might might mislead people into thinking that they had the status already, which they did not. And that's basically your entire argument. Yeah. Um, apparently, someone. No, no. Great, great. Hold on, hold on. Um, just to clarify some dates here. Yeah. Okay. Now this is for the the message that I got from Mike Cavanaugh, because I was actually informed outside of this that they got their five hundred one c three status. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Mike came up to me uh, because I was requesting the documents from him. And he came up to me on the 9th of October. This is when he actually announced it. And it wasn't even on their website yet. Okay. So nobody in the public knew about this yet other than people within FE Corp. Um, it said, uh, uh, we are happy to announce our 501c3 tax exempt status has been granted by the IRS per September 12, 2019. And then it goes on to say, to which, to, which, to which I can only snicker and laugh at your inability to prevent this from happening. Uh, let this be a lesson to you snowflakes that is next to nothing. Now, here's the thing. At the end of that email, he says, to summarize, I will send a copy of our 1023 uh, free of charge later this day, which he never did. Uh, as soon as the 990 has been submitted, you can download it from our website. So as of 9 October, public information about the 1020 or the 501 per my not in this email uh, was not information that was available to the public. Uh, so, so that what, means anything before, anything before the 9th of October, actually it was, I think it was like three days later that he finally pu uh, published it. Um, anything before that time, uh, nobody else was aware other than those probably within Edward and maybe a couple of their, their, their sponsors. So That's it. just to clarify again, what was the actual date that they were granted the tax exempt status? Now, he states on here, says that tax exempt status was granted by the IRS per September 12th, 2019. So, let me just double check what day I released that video. I'm pretty sure it was uh, September 9th. Um, it, well, if, if, even in that, as long as you uh, had your, I didn't know this. Yeah. As long as you had your video out before at least the 9th of October, there was no way you could have known anyway that they had gotten their 501c3 status. Because he, Mike Cavanaugh, president of FE Corps, had not released that information yet to the public. Right, so I released my video on the 5th of September, 2019. So at the time that I released all that information, I was sure purely going on what was available to the public. So- Defamate I this, Mike Cavanaugh. <laughs> Uh, someone in the chat says that me and Effie Core are just making this all up because we're working for the same team. Yeah, trust me, that's really not the case here. 
Oh my goodness. Some people just want to see a conspiracy in ev anything, don't they? Uh, just going to address a few yeah. super chats and we'll get back to this. Brainy Beaver, two Canadian dollars. No, it's correct. He's lying. Actually, doxed him. <laughs> no, it, uh, again, that wasn't my address. It's the address they found for me, which isn't my address. Uh, by, by the way, Greg, I'm, I'm really, I really pity you for having a fake address or a false address that includes the name Oakley. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, it's horrible. I, you know, I saw that shit too. <laughs> Crouching Tiger Hidden Adam for two pound renamed to STFE Sue the Flat Earth Merry Xmas Yep Christmas coming quick Second best Bob uh, five pounds the five pound is for your <laughs> up and coming legal battle I think it should cover everything Better charge five New Zealand dollars Here Craig for the lawyer uh, Sarcastic Barman five pounds You liar You live in a secret NASA bunker in Antarctica Dude that is fucking top secret Watch it. The Athens, $5. How a, a corporation that's considered smart people of society have an IQ that's still the sum total of a negative number? Sean Hawkins for $2. Riley has an IQ of 10 to the negative 17. Tati Bogle for £2. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong address on missive <laughs> equals not legal in Scots law. Uh, another £2 from Tati Bogle. Uh, wrong address on missive, not legal in Scots law. I don't mean to do that twice, but thank you. Andy Woods for £2. Did they post failed experiments on their website? Yes, they, they do it all the time. Got the scummer for two pounds. Small donation to the FE Corps can eat a dick fund. Six dollars sixty six. Hail Sagan uh, from Boaty McBoatface. Not much, but hope helps to fight these simpletons. And five pound from Hedgehog 1965 UK. I'm surprised they don't just claim copyright infringement when you use clips of the videos like creationists tend to do. Thanks, guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna have to get legal advice. I don't know. I've never had to go to court or anything. I, I don't know how that will work. So I'll figure that shit out. But anyway. Now let's get to the point that I want to make is I've done two, well, I've done one video about them um, and then I did a live stream where we talked about them for 10 minutes. Sly, how many I videos would you say what you've done? A four? And showing all the bullshit that they do and how they've, how, how they've manipulated their results, how they've lied about their results, how they have conducted themselves in fraudulent manner, uh, how they have shown the what do you call it? That they enjoy harassing people, that they enjoy defamating people, that they enjoy uh, uh, being frauds. How many videos? Oh, it's been about at least a dozen. All right, so at least a dozen, and um, you're well known to them, and you've not done anything that I haven't done in this case. So why have they attacked me and not you? Why do you think that is? Because you talk, I actually show their shit. Yeah. Well, there's I mean, one point that we need to talk about to that as well. What's that, Jared? So the other, the other reason is, well, Sly, uh, what nationality are you? What A citizen of what country are you? Um, I'm a citizen of the United Kingdom. The very same country that they're trying to rob the government of uh, for tax evasion. Yeah. Oh, okay. So under U.S. law, in a defamation case, the, pla uh, the plaintiff, the claimant, needs to prove their case from my understanding of uk law the respondent has to prove their innocence yeah so I, um, I, I that just might be a factor why they haven't gone after you in this way slide uh, or I, red or Sean or myself I, I know in scott's law i have to prove that what i said wasn't defamatory rather than like it being the other way around rather than them having to prove what it that it was i have to i'll prove just say it in my words I'm just saying in my words, Mike Cavanaugh and the rest of the FE Corp are just little bitches and they can't actually come out with a solid argument against somebody. These yeah. are my words, not Craig's. I, I, but, I, you know, I will fully endorse those words because this is like the last bastion of someone that's losing an argument, you know? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> um, another couple of super chats. 199 uh, from Rajikow. Moo, 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 moo. That is, to someone please time out Rajikow. Rex Palmer, 199, refer them to Arkles versus Prestam. I'll have a look at that. And Ulf Pearson for 20 Nokias. Screw them and the flat horse they rode in on. Yeah. Right, so as far as I'm aware, the reason they are going after me is because the libel laws in the UK are, I think, a lot easier to raise a case and a lot more harsh than in the US. Doesn't mean they're going to win because they don't have a case. But I think that's the reason why they're going after me. But... Isn't FE Core an American company, right? Registered in the States. Yep. But they are open membership uh, globally and also 
This is where when you get into the international aspect of it, the claimant is the one who actually can initially pick the venue. And you being a UK citizen opens them up to going under UK and Scots law versus US. They very well could decide to sue you under US law in the US courts, but for the type of case that they are claiming to be bringing, it is more advantageous for them to go under UK and Scots law because of that burden of proof shift off of themselves to you. Let me can, let, let me put something in here real quick, um, Brian. Uh, if you're listening, Brian, meaning the uh, the lawyer here, um, Dan, are you taking on the wrong case, man? I mean, this is not one that's going to look good in your in, in your portfolio. The reason why is because of the fact that you are representing a company who has willfully willfully defrauded the U.S. government, has willfully produced false results on tests, they take money in where they're not supposed to, they have used uh, prejudicial, uh, 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 or excuse me, prejudice, and uh, 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 what's the damn word I'm looking for? Uh, they've used scare tactics, they have used opinionated uh, claims of uh, who was who is uh, worthy of information that they are supposed to provide publicly? Do you really want to take on this case? Because don't it's forget, really... oh, it's like don't forget the entire fraudulent copyright strike thing because I think that's very important oh, yeah. for this. Oh yeah, and in in the public domain, uh, what do you call it? They issued several fraudulent copyright strikes, several fraudulent pa uh, uh, privacy strikes all claiming that they were in the right to do that because they found us as being disinformation, which you, as a lawyer, would have to know that copyright and privacy have nothing to do with disinformation. They're bad, but they have nothing to do with each other. You know, I mean, these guys have intentionally misrepresented test results. They have intentionally uh, misfiled uh, government documents. They have intentionally... intentionally misrepresented the credentials of engineers, okay, or people they claim as engineers. They, their company has a broad, very broad conflict of interest against the Articles of Incorporation, which they signed, okay, plus they like to engage in harassment, defamation, and all the other wonderful little, little things. Do you really want to represent these guys? Yeah, because, because and, I, and I'll put it to you this way. Come over to my channel, okay, post a comment, Brian, and I will gladly get in contact with you um, if you would like to discuss this with me because everything I just said, if I haven't already posted it, I can back up with, uh, with, with solid information. Yeah, um, it just goes back to the main point here that defamation requires me to have said something that's false. And um, um, one person has just emailed it to me and I see that someone's just posted it in the chat that anyone can access the uh, the form about FE Corps uh, uh, and where, when they got their tax exempt status from the IRS. And just because when I said it, it was true, but now it's not, doesn't mean that you can retroactively sue me. I, mean, I, ask, I honestly don't understand how that lawyer, well, the, sorry, that's trainee solicitor is being allowed to do this i mean you imagine a trainee solicitor will have someone overlooking his work but it's an unwinnable well, case the rest of that page the rest of the page does say he's actually got some credential you know i mean he's 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 not just he's not just a trainee solicitor he's got he's got uh some law behind him as as i read it i might be wrong on that i mean i'm not an expert on his resume but i'm just saying yeah. that you know I, I i don't i don't have anything against the dude Okay, but I'm just saying that, hey man, if you if you're looking to work on your profile and possibly make partners someday, this is not a case you want. Yeah, exa exactly. Exactly. <laughs> uh, this is not a case you want because you have absolutely nowhere to win. Just wanted to point that out. Yeah. Um, so Jim Do Jim Bojo in the chat says, "Have you looked into um, counted claiming for vexatious litigation?" No, because I don't know what that is. Um, <laughs> now they have two baseless legal assertions made under UK law. You could get them on it. Um, 
I, I think there's I'm going to be doing something about this. I mean, they're, they're trying to threaten me. They're trying to scare me to take my video down uh, and my live stream down. But, you know, no, fuck them. Because I do this because I expose these frauds and these liars, these horrible dregs of society. I do it on purpose. And I'm not taking the video down because you've thrown a hissy fit and decided to get a lawyer involved. Simple as that. So, is everyone still there? Yeah, I'm just yeah. scrolling through some stuff and finding it rather interesting. <laughs> Les Moore in the chat, um, <clears throat> who is a troll that's been around for a little bit, um, he keeps saying that he's going to bring the hammer down on me. He was like, ha, I told you this would happen. But now says, if the lawyers knew what they were doing, you would be in real trouble, FTFE. But again, I wouldn't be in any trouble, Les Moore, because... I've not done anything or said anything that is false. Um, defamatory content needs to be something that is untrue. Nothing I've said is untrue. So how are you, are you going to proceed with this? Uh, uh, you said you were getting a lawyer involved on your end? Yeah, I'm, well, I'm going to look, start looking into how I actually go about that. I've been speaking to someone who is a lawyer in email, but that's someone who's a subscriber of mine. Um, I haven't like got proper legal advice yet, but the person I was speaking to seems to think that it would be kind of a, a in in and out. It, the, the court would look at it and go, "Yeah, there's nothing here to actually even cover." But I'm going to obviously have to get a lawyer to represent me. I guess um, I don't know how much that costs, or I've never been in a legal situation, so honestly, I'm ignorant to the process of of law. You know, I, I've never had any reason to know about it. So if anyone wants to t give me some advice and tell me what to do next, please feel free to do that. Uh, it's it's all a it's all it's all a joke at the end of the day. <laughs> Bob the science guy, how you doing? Sue me, yes. Uh, all right, Bob, I'll, I'll put it back up for you so you can see it again. Is that you angry typing, Gail? Sorry. There was a comment in the side chat that it needed to be addressed as, as soon as possible, which I have just done. Uh, all right, let me go back, get that emailed up. So, do you think that they are bluffing? Um, I don't. I don't know. Uh, the the back and forth I've had with this the trainee solicitor says that they they want to go ahead and do it. So, I'm not really sure. But, um. To catch people up that are just joining or uh, anything, or Bob the Science Guy, uh, I got this letter. Uh, I got this e email that I got from uh, a law firm in Scotland, in Glasgow. Uh, it's not my address, so don't worry. I haven't doxed myself. They got my address completely wrong. Yes, I live in Fife. Rest of it is wrong. Um, and basically, <laughs> the the letter, the email says that the videos that I did, Mike Kavanagh and Effie Core frauds. And my flat earth discussion and talk about FE Core, uh, that Team Skeptic and Steve McRae on as well, are both defamatory in the fact that I state that FE Core didn't have their tax exempt status or registered and everything, except for I was completely right because they didn't get their tax exempt status until the beginning of October. Slice Barking just read out, and I've actually been given the email with that on as well. Um, where did it go? So yeah, um, here, so they got their 5th, September 12th, 2019, we're, we're pleased to tell you that you've got your federal tax um, exempt status. And I released my video on the 5th of September and said in it that they didn't have the registered tax, tax exempt status. So I haven't actually done anything that was defamatory because I didn't say anything that was untrue, but they are wanting to take me to court uh, for defamatory reasons. And does anyone think that they've got any kind of case? No. So far, I haven't heard any comp um, compelling argument from their side whatsoever. No. Nothing in the document and nothing from any external sources. Yeah. I have not, I didn't read anything in that document that sounded like it was anything that they could hold you against, but I heard you a second ago while I was out having a cigarette. Um, 
one thing that needs to be clarified here is this right here is the complaint. Okay, this is not a suit. This is not <clears throat> the charge or anything like that. The complaint as presented by the client. Yeah. Uh, what do you call it? Which means that uh, it has not been litigated. It has not been uh, deeply researched or anything. The the FE core or whoever it is in FE core who is representing them is submitting the complaint. The complaint doesn't require evidence. The complaint doesn't require proof or anything like that. It's just a, this is the kickoff. That's all. And uh, no plays have been made. And so ultimately it comes down to this. This is now what you do about it. You know, that's, that's, that's a whole different thing. Me personally, uh, I would stick to free speech, factual information, and uh, what do you call it? If the, if it wasn't going to put it out, and uh, what do you call it? Because and if I can also squeeze out one more word to Mr. O'Donnell, what was name O'Donnell? Uh, Brian Brian, Don, Brian Donnelly, I think. Oh, Don, Don, well, Brian, I got three letters for you, man. PDF. Okay. If you send out a Word document without a signature on it, it's not a legal document. Okay, all it is is a Word document that anybody can edit. And uh, I mean, when I opened it up, the first thing I went looking for was I wanted to see the properties. I mean, you could put the author's name Brian O'Donnell in there; that doesn't mean anything. You could change that. Okay, quick word for you: PDF with a digital signature. Okay, that's how you make sure that somebody at least takes the document seriously, because that was the first thing I noticed. Yeah, sorry, it's I Brian. O yeah. It's Brian O'Donnell. That's his name. Yeah, he's, he sent he sent a word document. Yeah, no signature, no nothing, and uh, so, <laughs> you know, like I said, I said this uh, when, when I got told about it. I said I'm at about eighty percent bullshit right now because of the fact that it's. Uh, it didn't even seem like it was something that could be even taken as legitimate because if I had perceived that thing, I'd be like, <laughs> nice try, Mike, you know, and, uh, but, you know, seeing that you actually have had contact with this gentleman, um, what do you call it? like I said, you can't really fault the guy because he's, you know, he's doing what he was presented and all this. And he, he at least thinks that to some measure of some kind of, I don't know, sense, um, that they have some kind of a case when, in fact, they actually don't. In fact, in fact, them putting themselves in front of legal standings is actually about to damage them because this is the kind of shit, you know, I mean, when you come out with a lie and you try and make a lot, make somebody believe a lie, it doesn't take very much to prove it wrong, okay, because lies are lies and facts are facts. Yeah, and everything is everything in in law is supposed to deal with the facts as best as they can be determined. And well, you put your videos out before any information was different than what you put out in your video. Okay, just yeah, like and I any, did. And in, yes, and slide any information given by Craig in the video. For example, talking about the uh, copyright issues that were going on at that point, all of those again were correct. Right, and and the uh, I mean, if I were to put out a video right now saying that that Geo has blonde hair, and I'm not aware that he changed his hair color, I'm not wrong for putting that out because I put it out to the information that I have. Okay, and how dare you say that about hair? Actually, Sly, that's completely fraudulent. I have no hair at all. Well, your, your shit looks more like uncooked noodles, but you know <laughs> the. Uh, <laughs> But the, uh, the, the point is, is that you didn't put out anything false, so complying with a cease and desist order, if a gag order, which, you know, as you pointed out, a gag order can only be issued by a judge, um, and a lawyer without any proof or backup of his claims cannot order you to take down things which would other, otherwise be covered by free speech. Period. Yeah. So there, there's that. There, I mean... Like I said, this whole thing is just the complaint, and as it appears, it was actually processed through a law firm, however poorly, and it's, uh, uh, this is just the complaint. Now, if he wants to take a look at some stuff, 
have him tell him you will watch my videos first and then you will tell me which parts of this were considered defamatory and which parts were actually considered false with backup you know and facts to back them up because other than that you know they don't have anything to really talk about and nothing you put out was false nothing you put out was defamatory Mike and his crew might not like it but that is a defamatory statement that just that just it you know precipitates the blood hurt you know and like I said all the stuff that I put out uh, uh, if they actually had a, a, a leg to stand on with their false copyright claims and their false privacy claims then it would have actually gone in a different direction but obviously they didn't and the funny part is is that when I put in my counterclaim they did not put up a fight that means they know that the next step is legal and they know that the next step they will lose. Yeah. So Mike Cavanaugh and his crew backed off. Now, he didn't back off without sending me a nice little threatening letter saying, blah, 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 you know, I would love to, you know, bring this before court with you and all this other stuff. And I just pointed it back to him and said, look, if you had a case, you would have stood up for it, but you don't, so don't waste my time. Period. Yeah. yeah. Um, and. Uh, Stan Smith in the chat asks, did they send it certified mail? No. Um, again, what, what I've had is an email uh, out from them. Um, and uh, lucky, actually, because it was in my from spam. The firm. From, no, the from the firm. From the firm. That, that was actually in my spam. I noticed it in my spam when I was clearing it out. But uh, the <laughs> the address on there isn't my address. So somebody has given that or that law firm has searched for my address and they've come up with an address that just isn't mine. I, I, yeah, I live in Scotland in Fife, but the rest of it was wrong. You know, the street name, the street Is number, maybe the postcode. Oh, fuck, I hope not. But there's two Craig McNeils, or Mac, was it McNeil? I think it was McNeil. McNeil, Out yeah. there that just happened to live in Fife, and they sent it to the wrong person. Craig, Possibly. This Craig, is very... are, are, you, are you leading a dual life? Shh. Is there something we need to know? I'm trying, to, <laughs> trying to hide it. <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, there's maybe some other Craig McNeil who is very confused right now. Yeah, <laughs> maybe it's... What the fuck is this? Or maybe you your other better you... wife is very confused. Yeah. <laughs> you, you Who the know, hell is uh, I, I, I'm picturing a Craig McNeil similar to Dell. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sitting in his apartment right now, just tearing up his couch like, Who the fuck are these guys? <laughs> uh, uh, but um, I, I'm not worried about anything in this because again i've done nothing defamatory in the fact that i've not said anything that is untrue uh so i i'm not scared um if anyone wants to give me legal advice feel free um i know a lot of people are like you probably shouldn't have shown this but i really aren't i'm really not worried about it uh they couldn't even get my correct address uh, the competence of the solicitor the fact that it bears no relevance anyway because i didn't say anything that is false and i've got evidence to back that up so yeah i'm not really scared but that's what's been happening and um a lot of fun that it is well fun, fun is a relative word in this yeah <laughs> but going forward should they decide to sue you which let's just say the odds are 50 50 at the moment because that well that's at least what i estimate yeah. Um, it. I, I think it would be an utter catastrophe for them. Yeah. Oh, I am so coming to Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I, if I have to go to court, I'm taking a camera crew with me. I mean, I if you're I, allowed I, to, I could, I could jump on Ryanair right now for about forty bucks and come to fucking uh, to come come to Scotland. Yeah, that'd be <laughs> I great. I would so love to be there. Uh, I mean, I'm. Are they allowed to stop me taking a camera crew in? I don't know. I don't know really about free speech and stuff. But I, again, I'm kind of ignorant to law, um, and I'm not ashamed to admit that I never studied law. Not that Anthony Riley ever did either. But um, well, well in, the in the states, camera crews are only disallowed by a judge. Oh well, I'd have to look into that because if I was allowed, I'd totally fucking get a camera crew and come with me. Oh yeah, <laughs> that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. We'll, we'll call those guys who did uh, be, behind the, behind the curve or beyond the curve or whatever it was. Yeah, <laughs> they, they might be interested in it. Oh, me and Slam and Dan have been so, talking to them for quite a while. So, <laughs> interestingly enough, 
Um, one of our viewers actually did see that they that FE Court does have the application for uh, the 501c3 status available to the public on their website, except it's missing something. What's it missing? The actual approval notification from the IRS. Ooh. Really? I mean, I'm not going to say is anything. Link is in the... Uh, the hangout chat, and I've been going through it, and I see where they where they filled everything out. There is there is not a response in any way, shape, or form from the IRS in that document that they have linked there. They now, have their statement. Hold, hold, hold on one have, I know. I have it on good authority that they did receive it. Oh, I'm not saying I'm not saying that they didn't. I'm just saying that yeah. what they are showing there is incomplete. Mm. So, uh, oh, you guys did say that, um, that Riley would be watching this um, probably. So, I want to say hi to Riley just in case he's watching. Yes, uh, Riley announced to me earlier that he would be watching this. Hi, Riley. Hi, Anthony. Hey. We haven't spoken in a while. How are you? Uh, oh, th hey, th Riley. Is... Hey, Riley. I'm still here. <laughs> Um, it, you made a brief cameo in my video today, uh, yesterday, Sly, as, as he flashed up uh, one of the titles of one of your videos in the bit I was responding to. Um, oh, but, okay. Uh, yeah, so, hi, Riley. We, we all know you watch everything that I put out. So, how are you doing? Um, good good luck with <laughs> Dumb Fuck of the Year. Um, you're doing so well. You don't need any help. You keep <laughs> you keep putting out all this stupid, and it's it's incredible. I mean, I'm literally blown away because I start scripting a video and by the time I've finished you're seven more videos in. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna check this thing out and see if this uh this document that you have up on or that they have up on the page is changed at all from the document that I have, which I downloaded the very first day. Uh, it's going through its loading process. Great. Oh, oh yeah, and also it seems that um, Stephen Warrior has now been posting some kind of homophobic content on his channel. What? Ah, you mean the, the bad joke that he uploaded? Um, yeah. Helio Heliosexuality or something. Yeah. What's what's he what's he what's mad because boys don't hit on him or something or what? <laughs> just just show us on the ball where gravity touched you, Riley. Let let <laughs> let's be honest, Sly. Like, they probably do, just not in the way that he likes. That was awesome. <laughs> Show us on the ball where you got touched. <laughs> uh, oh, that's awesome. I like that. <laughs> you know, Sly, do you know he did a video recently saying that the Titanic sinking was a scientific experiment? No, I didn't know that, but yeah. why am I not oh, surprised? That was comical. Yeah. Oh, also, air isn't um, a gas, air has no weight. Because there's no intermolecular bonds, therefore, atmospheric pressure is a fraud. Actually, water doesn't have intermolecular bond either, does it? It does. They're called hydrogen bonds, Sly. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they're no, very I'm talk, strong. I'm, talk, I'm talking about the, the water molecules themselves, though. You know, the H2O molecule yes. doesn't bond to another molecule, therefore, it's a liquid. It does bond to another molecule. That's the point of hydrogen bonds. The actual hydrogen atoms in water are so dislocated they don't necessarily know to which water molecule they belong. That's why oh, okay. water is so stable. That's why it has such a high um, evaporation point, even if it's just uh, very light. Well, that's why you're the chemist. Uh, so a few super chats. $10 from Rosa43. Anything to help, my friend. No way they win this. Hopefully this gets them in trouble. I'm pretty sure it will. Um, John Rapp for five Australian dollars. Don't forget the claim that their name is Field Engineers Corps, but it's really Iron Corps, which they say is fraudulent. Thus, they are frauds by name. Um, we all know that FE stands for Flat Earth. No one's fucking stupid. Uh, Brian Shannon. Yes, actually, people are stupid. Flat Earthers are. Uh, $2 for Brian Shannon. 100% bluff. They can't even spell core right. No doubt for $5. FE Core, bunch of punks. Earth is seriously flat for $2. Here's a help, little help for your Flat Earth lawyer. Cheers, Earth is seriously flat. Uh, Lee Pollington for £5. For the cause, FTFE, I hope FE Core 
drown in their own backfiring stupidity. Love and support from Conroe, West Country Boys Unite. And another $2 from Earth is Seriously Flat. The Globe Doctrine had already lost in a court of law. Actually, you should look into that case. It was um, actually overturned. Funny story. I have I have an interesting point to make here. Uh, yes. Thanks, for, thanks to Jared for pointing this out, um, at least uh, on the document. Now, currently right now, obviously, the page numbers are, are the same and all this. However, um, FE Core has put a watermark on the uh, what do you call it? The form 1023 on their their now upload that they have of it. It says FE Core Inc. Learn more at fecore.org. Huh. Um, as far as I'm aware, that's um, what do you call it? That's that's the manipulation of a government document. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to check on that, but. Uh, well, basically, what it does is it, it turns the document into an advertisement for their website, which you're not supposed to do yeah. that to a government document other than using the government document for a government document. They can do it with their own PDFs all day, you know, put that nice little cross watermark on there. And uh, but strangely enough, they have a watermark on a government document. That hmm. means they have modified the government document. Well, I don't know specifically that, and I'm, I don't want to potentially incriminate myself any further than I already have done today. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's probably something you shouldn't do. Uh, um, Sean Taylor says that the, um, yeah, the UK Supreme Court has permitted filming since 2009, while the Court of Appeal have actually allowed it on a regular basis since 2013. So, yeah, if I have to go to court, I am totally taking a fucking camera crew with me. Nice. <laughs> yeah, because that will be... I mean, how much clickbait can I make from that? All of it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Willie, Willie Fisher asked, how much do I pay for internet in the UK? It's pretty slow from what I hear. I pay £22 a month, and the maximum I get is about 30 megs a second. It's pretty awful. Well, that's not too bad. There are worse contracts over here. I'm rather lucky. I pay almost 60 bucks a month, euros that is, but for 500 megabits, which I think is a fair deal. Yeah. I'm going uh, for 10. <laughs> at the moment, my internet seems to be running at under 10 megs a second, which is probably why it's been buffering. But at least there's no video, so it's just all voice. So everyone can hear what we're saying anyway. Um, someone else asked, is FTFE a true Scotsman? Uh, I was raised in England, but my um, my dad's family are from Scotland. And then I came back up here after I left the Navy. So, uh, I'm, I'm so the British. answer is no. No. Yeah, all the Scottish people would say no, but all the English people reject me as well, so I'm just kind of stuck with no one loving me. They changed the title of the document, too. <laughs> um, you, let, let's be fair, though, Craig. The reason for you not being loved by anyone has nothing to do with your nationality. No, that's right. <laughs> it's because I don't believe the earth's flat. Two Australian dollars from John Rapp. Uh, everyone give the proper welcome to John Rapp. Mass is only a solid. Anthony Lighty, 2019. And a $9.99 super sticker from Lauren Takitos. Thank you very much, number one fan. Uh, I really do appreciate it, obviously, guys. This is why I, I do this. I absolutely love doing this shit for you. And I can't believe that the Flat Earthers are so butthurt, they literally want to sue me. Um, I just, I'm kind of blown away by it all. Shouldn't be. That's pretty much par for the course now. Yeah, they, they ran out. Of, they ran out of stuff to talk about, so now they talk about people. Yeah, they've got no no new arguments. Um, I mean, I don't think I've had any new arguments for the last five years. No. Yeah. <clears throat> and also, next time someone says to me that you can't have gas pressure uh, in a vacuum next to a vacuum without a container, I'm just going to ask them how they contain plasma inside a nuclear fusion reactor. Plasma doesn't exist. Man. Don't that's you know that? that's not necessarily even the best argument. The best argument in this case is, why is the pressure at sea level different from the pressure at the mountain top? Because there's no fucking wall in between them. How do they explain uh -huh. this? Well, that's why I, I, I always well, they, say that they, they run they, from that question. Yeah, I always say the whole you can't have gas pressure in a vacuum next to a vacuum without a container argument as a straw man anyway because we don't. We have 14.7 psi next to 14.6 psi, which is next to 14.5 psi, etc., etc. There, there is no barrier between each of those levels. So why does there need to be a barrier when you get to what we consider space? I think. Wait a second. 
when I was in the first semester, we had actually a physics class, like introductory physics, right? And we did the complete uh, derivation from the um, formula which describes the height um, pressure correlation only from the ideal gas law and gravity. Yeah, but... So without knowing nothing more than the ideal gas law and uh, the gravitational formula in the Newtonian sense, you can actually derive uh, the height formula for barometric pressure, just saying. But Beaver Riley... is out. Hey, Beaver, how you doing, buddy? Uh How's it going? Yes. Yeah, so, so yeah, we're just talking about what I came on to your uh, chat last night about. They're they're still want they still want to sue me. Um, they they've clarified specifically what it's about, and that is the fact that I said they didn't have their registered tax exempt status. But I was right. I mean, I mean, if you're, okay. So if you put if you put up that you are tax exempt for years on your site, and then you suddenly change it in May to I we don't have it yet. Then, and then you have no evidence to show that you do have it, then you don't have tax-exempt status as far as I'm concerned. I'm on your side. I was listening yeah. to the whole thing. Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. So ba basically, for anyone who's come in, uh, missed the beginning, um, FE Core have sent, well, the uh, solicitor under the bequest of FE Core has sent me an email um, which had my wrong physical address on. So the registered letter, I assume, that would have been sent has gone somewhere else. Basically saying that they want to raise litigation against me if I don't remove my videos that I did about them because they contain defamatory content, which would have damaged their reputation in the eyes of right thinking members of society. Many, many, many problems with that. Mainly, first of all, I did nothing defamatory because it was all true. Um, and also the fact that right mem thinking members of society didn't have any respect about FE Core to lose in the first place. <sighs> What do you say about all Brainy? He's gone. Brainy? Nope. Uh, my uh. soundboard. Soundboard. Got it. Got it. I got it. <laughs> um, I just don't think you can have. I don't think you can claim. I mean, we, I think we went over this a little bit. I don't think you can claim a defamation and then have an open YouTube channel where you preach flat Earth and you know the movement of the ether and and stuff like that. I mean, I suppose you're allowed to be religious. You haven't criticized his religion in any way. Um, but what you have criticized is his ability to perceive the shape of our earth based on the information at our disposal. And I will tell you one thing that I as a right minded member of society or with slightly uh, I mean, adjacent to right minded anyways, at the very least, um, I don't want an engineer building the shit or working on the shit that I, uh, you know, deal with if he doesn't if he can't, you know, sort that suss that out for himself. That's scary yeah. to me be like a pilot pilot you know it'd be like the ones that say i'm a pilot i'm like are you sure <laughs> yeah it's, it's all fucking stupid uh yeah, being sure is kind of a good idea there isn't it yeah 10 pounds from martin d for the fight thank you very much 50 donkey kong dollars from trigger tits free legal advice for fe core first law of holes if you find yourself in a hole stop digging no no they can keep digging as much as they want and another five pounds from tim cow oh it's on here's a little help for you buddy I appreciate it. Um, I don't know if legal will even cost anything. I'm pretty sure there's some kind of free representation I could get, or I don't know, I'd represent myself if I figure it all out, who knows. Uh, so I, I do appreciate the super chats, but I don't. <laughs> it's, it's not necessary to start throwing money at me for a legal fund because I honestly don't think I would need one. But I do appreciate the thoughts, guys. Uh, much love. But don't represent yourself if they actually end up doing something legal. Or get somebody and just own them. Yeah. Um, then, and, and take a camera and have it all filmed. Uh, oh but, yeah, yeah. Uh, you've come in just at the end, Beaver. Because I was going to start shutting down now. No, I um, get that. Uh, I it's all I'll, good. I want to go through the panel and uh, let them have any final thoughts about what's been going on. So, slide. Do you want to give your thoughts first? Uh, hold on a second. Uh, get me last because I got three more pages to go through and we'll make sure that there's no changes on this thing. All right then, Gio. Yeah, well, again, so far, I don't think they have a case whatsoever. Now, I'm not a lawyer for obvious reasons, um, but um, I, well, if they are laughing, nothing will happen, obviously, um, if, if you just ignore this letter. But I would advise you just to go and search legal advice tomorrow as soon as possible, just in case they aren't. If they are not, then just obliterate them in court. Because, again, I, I don't think they have a case whatsoever. 
No, I don't either. Uh, like I said, like I've said before, defamatory means not true, and everything that I've said is true. Uh, well, defamatory is to de defame somebody, but I don't think you're defaming somebody who says the Earth is flat on a public forum. He's defaming himself. <laughs> Yeah, but it has it has to be untrue as well. Like if I just say something that's absolutely yeah, true oh, about course, them, even if it's horrific, it doesn't but matter. That's, but uh, that's what I mean. You're not defaming somebody if you say something that's true because it's not de it's it's not defaming them. It, it, it's true. They defame them. I mean, he goes out and tells people this himself. So yeah, he he did all the work himself, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, uh, they, they don't even need to tell it him, himself. If demonstrable facts that Craig is presenting. Then he had, he has nothing to fear regarding a defamation whatsoever. No. And just uh, compiling a list of fuck ups that Fe Core did so far is not defamation either. But like, I did, like I the did news that. leaves cl old clips up, does it not? I mean, I don't I don't imagine CTV goes and removes old news clips after it doesn't you know after it's not pertinent anymore. Oh shit, we gotta go remove that. Sorry. Uh. No, no, they, no, they, they don't clever, they, they, that's, but that's they, will, they will add a comment. They will add a comment it, that something that, about video yeah. whatever has changed. But because that's yeah, just good journalistic there's, practice. Yeah, if there's been a major change, they will do a retraction, but only if there was change or flaw with the initial reporting. But they've gotten better at saying of information currently available. Here's the situation, which that goes to the crux of this. At the time, FTFE did those videos. FE Core did not have the designation as a 501c3 from the IRS at the time the videos were done. That doesn't mean you can go back and retroactively sue someone for something that they said, which at them was factually accurate, but has since changed. There is no legal precedent to be able to do that. Yeah. Uh, that's, again, it just backs up that I don't, this is just because they're butthurt and lashing out. And it's just like the final bastion of someone who has lost an argument. Oh, well, I'm gonna go and tell the teacher if you're, you're picking on me in the playground kind of thing. It's not my fault you're fucking an idiot. Stop being an idiot, I won't make videos about you. Uh, Has Fight the Flat Earth become a, a god in voice to everybody else? <laughs> <laughs> He's getting yes. to me. Oh, it's it's just the, the third step. The, the, the entire thing is just a, just the third step of, the, of absolute fuckery trying to silence critics, basically. The first one was try to convince them that they, that they were wrong, which Mike Kavanaugh tried in the Hangout with Sly. Then, when that didn't work, because Sly correctly pointed out that they were full of shit, they tried number two, literally, which was uh, silencing them by fraudulent copyright strikes. And now that YouTube has reinstated all the videos in question because there was nothing to be copyright or no copyright broken, they're using or maybe even abusing the legal system. So, yeah, they're getting desperate. That's what I'm trying to say. I can't uh, can't argue with that. That's pretty unassailable right there. I mean that that that's all that, that's all they do. Left. All they have left is is the bitch and complain and the threats and stuff because they are at their stuff. They haven't put out anything new since their 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 speedboat ride, which they paid for on the FE core dime. Okay, and all they did was ride around the speedboat and then oh at the end they they took a picture of. You know, Kavanaugh and uh, uh, what's his name, Sandor, uh, hanging over a rock with a camera. That was about it. You know, these guys are, are frauds in themselves. Oh, and by the way, hey, uh, one, once again, Ryan, um, if you want to question whether or not somebody is a fraud, uh, especially uh, you know, if you want to talk about the fact that people have pointed out they're frauds. Um, I, I give you two things. One, the doc that they have uh, up on their website about talking about they pay $1,000 rent in Indiana for a room in a building, a single room in a building, which would lead one to believe that they have opened an office there. Then I, I refer you over to the video from Sean Hufford where he actually went to that building and there isn't even a sign for the company. Which was featured in the video they are trying to 
bring litigation of, uh, on me. And, right. So now let, let's just let's just talk about brass taxes here. If I were actually actually renting a room from a an, any kind of a landlord or whatever or uh, you know friend of the family whatever. There, my purpose in that would be to actually open up an office for my my business. However, nowhere on that building does it say anything, any mailbox for that. All of their mail goes to that whatever it is, uh, Shamrock Holdings or whatever that Rick Hummer owns. Okay, there's nothing on there. So you want to tell me that Rick Hummer's not pulling down a grand a month just because? And he can write that off on his taxes? Yeah. We're talking about fraud because of the fact that we have pointed out their mistakes. So, Come on, really? So why – okay, so I got a question. Is there not a form that you can fill out and tell the IRS this? I mean, Jesus, they gave him a, a tax-exempt status even? Like, are they not even oh, doing God, any – Oh, gosh. I think that form is called a 13909, and you download it for free. You can fill it out and send it to eoclass uh, at irs.gov. And as a matter of fact, now that you bring that up, thank you, um, I actually did get a letter back from the IRS. I don't have it here at the moment, but it's not terribly important other than saying, acknowledging the fact that they received my 13909 that I submitted a couple of months ago. So... If you feel that you have enough information about the dealings from FE Core, now it doesn't matter. I mean, don't echo anybody else's words. Get your own information. And if you feel that you have enough information just to put into a form for a complaint and they do not pass along your information to uh, the individuals at FE Core, this stays with the IRS. Um, if you feel you have enough information for a complaint or if you believe that information that was already presented by other people, such as myself, Sean, Fight the Flat Earth, uh, or anybody, uh, then go ahead and do your research, check our facts, and if you, if you concur with those facts, go ahead and submit a Form 13909, which is downloadable from the IRS website, and put F.E. Core's name on it and say, hey, look, these people are fuck-ups, and now they're trying to screw with people. Because, I mean, Mike Cavanaugh already stated his intent to me about how much he would love to take me in front of court and all this, when if he had an argument to make, he would have made it even inside of YouTube. But when I put in my Counter-Strike to, uh, to, uh, through YouTube and it finally got accepted, uh, they didn't even put up a fight. Yes, basically, as so, soon um, as YouTube... Wait, stop. As soon as YouTube um, receives your counter-strike for the copyright strike that they file, they give them, uh -huh. them like, what, 30 days? Well, they, 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 they give... Yeah, they give them some... No, they get some 10 time. days. They get 10 days. If they don't respond to it in 10 days after that, it goes back up. Yeah. They have to. They and have to show evidence that they are about. They, they have to show evidence that they have begun litigation, or else YouTube removes it and counter strikes them. Exactly, right, uh, which I means that given the opportunity, given the opportunity, Fe Core chose not to sue Sly, which is completely opposite to what uh, to what they said earlier they would do. Which means that first of all, they accept that Sly's counter uh, notification was correct because otherwise they would sue him. And second of all, they also kind of acknowledge that it was a scare tactic. Yep. The only thing I was going to get to there is, okay, so my big thing is, and this is probably the crux of this whole thing as well, um, this is so stupid of them. I mean, if anything, the FE Core thing, it started to die down and disappear into the distance. All they've done is thrust it into the limelight again here. Yeah. They are flat earthers. Yeah. What did you expect? Oh my god, talk about a stupid thing to do. They should have just pretended it didn't exist. We hadn't even been producing videos about it or anything. We had moved beyond it. I mean, now, because, by, because by the way, let me, let me read you something. Let me read you something here real quick. Now, to continue the discussion of if they had a case, they would have argued it even at YouTube's level. Okay? In other words, they would have sustained their objection to my material. This is actually from Mike Cavanaugh. It says, you give yourself way too much credit. 
You are the king. You are king information. I didn't know I was a king. Uh, you are king information, and I will gladly take your offer to settle this in court. You are very ill-informed, and it will be my pleasure to prove all you claims <laughs> as, as falsehoods before a judge. Don't make vain threats. Uh, I stand behind all my words and, and actions. Honestly, if you want uh, to start with the filing of the paperwork, it would save me the trouble of tracking down your address, which he already has, uh, to serve you with the letter before the action. Be sure to sign it with your correct name. Now, here's the thing. He's, say, he's saying to me in an email, come on, bring it on. You know, we'll take this to court and stuff like that. But he bitched out when YouTube required that from him. Now, if that's not bitch move and just trying to be, you know, just trying to be a threatening little putz, I don't know what is. Yeah, uh, and I think that's where we, we're going to leave it today because there's not much more to say. They are just being complete bitches in this whole situation. Uh, a couple more super yeah. chats. Uh, uh, $5 from John Rapp. No, I've read that one. Sorry. Uh, £20 from John Bunker, Bunker with no message. Thank you very much. If, if you want to type a message, if you meant to, just type one in the chat and I'll read it out. Uh, 20 Nokias from Tommy Gronveld. Here's free fitty for a reasonable settlement. Yeah, they want me to offer a reasonable set settlement. Here's an, a, reason, a reasonable offer for you. Suck my dick. Uh, one, <laughs> 199 US settlement dollars. is too small. <laughs> oh. 199 US dollars from Rivet. Uh, IRS form 13909, tax exempt organization complaint. Uh, $2 from Earth is seriously flat. Thank you very much, my favorite flat earther. Lovers of the spinning balls church are just immature. We're not the ones throwing about possible lawsuits because we can't measure a microwave um, being transmitted from a certain distance away because there's a fucking planet in the way. Uh, and <laughs> five euros from J. Vamp Striegel. It's ironic, Effie Cord don't trust the government, but will want the government to silence people. Yes. Yeah, that's yep. called hypocrisy. Uh, yep. And just for if my mods don't know, uh, Les Moore is currently getting the Vicky treatment. If he says anything, just time him out unless what he said was an email address or a way for me to contact him. Uh, but I appreciate you guys coming on. Thank you, Sly. Thank you, uh, Jared. Thank you, Geo. And thank you, Brainy. Um, this has been interesting. I will keep you guys updated as much as possible with what is going on. Uh, thank you for the super chats. It means the world and allows me to continue doing what I'm doing. Uh, so a massive thank you for all of that. But just being here, watching the streams and sharing also helps me massively. Make sure you guys check out um, Gear Striver, ATT Productions, Brainy Beaver, and Slice Bar King's channel. Um, and that is all for tonight. I will see you guys in a couple of days for another debate. Stupidity is not all right. Fight the flat earth. Fight the flat. Fight the flat. Fight the flat.